this is me Winifred I'm back with another makeup basket and this will be this week's basket I believe starting on the 30th and going to the 6th I believe um, I'll have it in the description box at any rate so let's just get started I'm going with kind of like a neutrally goldy theme this week and um, let's start with our nail polish. You all know that I wear statement rings and some of them do have different color stones in them. And the thing that I like, I love to wear neutral color nail polishes because it it doesn't clash with the ring. I'll just I'll just say that it doesn't clash with the ring and I could put on any ring in the morning without thinking about it. So this is Marc Jacobs um, nude and it's called Funny Girl. I love this one. The next um, nail polish that I might use this week is called Samoan Sand and it's by OPI. This is one of my favorite nudes and I think this is so complimentary to every every skin tone this one and funny girl is too but I've been using this one for years guys and it's been a, I will probably say at least 10 years that I've been wearing this shade and I've repurchased it on many many occasion um, here's a cheap blush that I want to wear and this is called uh, optimistic orange and it's a cream by uh, Mac and it's good cream to put on under um, powders and whatnot to give them more oomph. And it's nice by itself as well. But yeah, I love this stuff. And so I'll be using that. And then I have a highlighter from um, Fashion Fair. And this does not get a lot of play. Just like I love Golden Lights, this one I believe is, let's see, I'm going to just get out of focus. Yeah, Sun Soleil. That's what this one is. And this is um, Fashion Fair. You all know I love Golden Lights. I've been wearing that for years. But I purchased this one last year. So um, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to use as many highlighters that I have. Guys, I have so many. So I'm going to try to um, use those up this summer. Not use them up, but use them on a regular basis so I can use them up. Okay, so here's another one that I love. I've been using this for years too. And this I have repurchased on several occasions and this is by Elizabeth Arden I hardly ever hear anything about this so you've got a bronzer on one side and then you got a highlight in the other and this is called bronze beauty this is really really pretty I I I love this and you all know that that's the two mixed together and then you have the lighter shade if you want to wear that and then there's the darker shade really pretty um, and then I have another highlighter and this is from Sudavit this is an older one and yes yeah, you can see I've hit pan in a couple of different uh, colors here but this is such a nice color too and I don't think Sudavit is l any longer in business I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but um, yeah this one I'm not sure what it's called I can't make that out. Um, but at any rate, I got this at um, Sephora when Sephora was carrying Sudivit. So, yeah, this is a really nice one, too. And if I can find the color, I'll link it below. But I, I'm not sure that Sudivit is any longer in business. I'm not sure. I don't think so. And then I have a really pretty eye palette here guys and this is uh, a Stila eye palette and you can see it's neutrals pretty uh, browny shades and some champagne or some bronze shades I'll swatch a few for you that's really pretty there and then hmm let's swatch the one next to it that's pretty and then you have a couple of matte shades towards the end that pretty brown and 
again, the colors in here are very complementary to, um, I would say, most skin tones. Uh, the darker shades you could wear as a liner, and it comes with a liner. And uh, the lighter shades you could wear as lid colors or highlight. I'm not one for frosty highlight myself, but these are nice for an inner tear duct color. Um, and this is Stila Into the Night. I believe that's still sold. Okay, so don't be mad at me, guys. I've got a couple of MAC palettes here that I did not put the names of the colors on the um, lid here or on the back. So I apologize for that. But these are my MAC shades, and I think I labeled it Melons. Kind of like in the Melon, melon and Peachy family. Uh, this is a shade, though, that I love, and this is called Rule. This is very nice for um, warming up your eye socket, kind of like a transition color. Really, really pretty. Uh, all of these shades in here are pretty, so I'll be playing around with that this week. And I also have another oh, MAC palette that I did not put the names of. All of the colors on there so I apologize for that again um, but some of you Mac heads might even know <laughs> by looking at it what the color is and um, yeah I love Mac eyeshadows guys and so I'll be playing around with these mixing them up a little bit now here is a another eye palette but I mix these okay so like um, these six right here are um, makeup geek and these are Mac and this one is a Mac um, I'm not sure the I know this is sumptuous olive I know that this is um, peach smoothie this is chickadee by Makeup Geek, this is her Corrupt. This is the blackest black I have ever come across. Um, one of these is Mocha. But these are really nice shades on. And these three together make such a beautiful neutral eye. And the Corrupt, if you want to use this as a liner or to set the eyeliner that you already have on, this would work perfectly. And Makeup Geek's eyeshadows are very reasonably priced. And they're quite comparable to um, MAC at about half the cost. And you all know this La Femme blush palette. I decided to go with this again today or this week because... The bottom shades are of orange neutral shades, and that would go good with this basket. Last week, I used it for the pink, the upper, the uh, this line of eyeshadows. And I'm going to try to take pictures this week, guys. I apologize because I've been lacking in that area because of work, more or less. Um... And now this is what is one of my pan projects. And so this will always be in my makeup basket. And as you all know, this is the Urban Decay Original Nakeds palette. And I'm so proud that I have hit pan on this one, which is the Naked. Then I have some lippies, guys. And I love this one. This is uh, Yves Saint Laurent. And it doesn't have a color on the bottom. But this is a nude. And it's really pretty. I love it. And it's, kind of, it's real sheer. But you can see. That's pretty. And I'll probably wear it with a chestnut pencil. Or something of that nature. Um, and then here is a really pretty gloss from Dior. It's loaded with a lot of shimmers and what not on there and oh god what is it called guys oh it's just got a number 228 
But yeah, this is so loaded with um, shimmers and glimmers. It's so pretty. It'll complement any color lipstick because the base is kind of translucent. So you can kind of see that it's got that little, it's got that sparkle. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but that's it right there. And it does have a lot of sparkle. Um, and this is Goldie by Lancome. Love this. I have purchased this like twice. It's a gold colored, perfect to top on any kind of neutral look over any color, actually. And this is Clarion's. Oh, I don't think I can get it up. I'm gonna have to depot this one, guys. But it was another neutral. And this one is, I want to say it's Honolulu, Honolulu Honey. And this is from NARS. Again, this is a neutral shade. And I'm going to swatch it just like right here. See that? Right there. And again, that's a good mixer shade too, guys. And so I also have... A host of lip glosses here and dazzle and one dazzle glass. This is called Goldilocks. You can see all of the little glimmers in there. I'm gonna really try to get through this stuff this year, guys. Um, when I wear these two, I can't make it out. Maybe you all can make them out. When I wear these two, I'll be sure to include them in the description box. I'm gonna try to do a um, a uh, couple of makeup looks this week, and I'm gonna play around with these um, lip glasses. And I've got a couple of buxom pencils here. I'm gonna play around with this one is just nude. That's this one right here. That's what that looks like. And this one is, oh guys, I'm telling you, undress. And this is what this one looks like. And they're matte. Most of you already know what that looks like. And this is Belle Jour. It's a lip pencil by um, NARS. I have repurchased this guy several times. And that's what that looks like. And sometimes when I wear a darker lip, I'll just put this in the center to give you a nice little sexy pout. Um, really like this. I've purchased this at least four times. And then this one I don't wear as much. But I am going to try to, and this is that Revlon um, Color Burst uh, pencil. And der, 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 what is this called? Matte Bomb. I don't know. But it's kind of a nudie. It, this is kind of like a peachy nude. That's right there. It's kind of like a peachy nude. And. God, guys, I can't even make this out with a magnifying glass. I think it's color number 230. It looks like 230. And, but as far as the the words, I can't make that out. So, yeah, it looks like color 230. And this was one of those Revlon that bomb lippies. And this comes in handy all the time in my purse. And this is the MAC blotting film. So that is it, guys, for this week's makeup basket, and I will see you real soon, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Okay? Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.